Cow Battle Carriage Works is hosting its ninth annual Locals Ride Free Day on Sunday here in the city of Charleston. In this edition of Fuentes Post Ups, I sit down one on one with Cow Metal Carriage Works General Manager Tommy Doyer Jr. And be sure to download the free Fuentes Post Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. And listen to this interview later on iHeartRadio. Tommy Doyer Jr. It's so good to see you again. Great to see you, Quinn. Thanks for coming down. Anytime. I really appreciate this. Appreciate you having me. Well, anytime. I know that your particular carriage company sent out this press release just recently, and it reads this as a headline. Carriage company hosts ninth annual free day. On Sunday, January 27th, Palmetto Carriage Works will host its ninth annual Locals Ride Free Day. Where are you emotionally right now? Oh, I'm excited. You know, this is a great opportunity for... Uh, be to show off our place, uh, show off our animals, and uh, really show off the city. You know, it's uh, the the tourist town that Charleston has become and is. A lot of times, locals don't get the opportunity to come out and enjoy it. And uh, we picked the last Sunday in January uh, as a day that everybody can come out and enjoy it on the house. It gives an opportunity for tour guides that aren't working during a slow month yeah. to, to get out there and uh, show the town and gives us a chance to knock the dust off the animals and, and take people and show them the city. And the article result goes on to say this quote, over the last nine years, Palmetto Carriage has hosted nearly 9,000 guesses, 8,000 guests, excuse me, during their free event. Yep. 8,000 guesses, Tommy. What is that one guest that still plays in your mind? Well, you know, I want everybody to come. I'm not going to be satisfied until everybody in Charleston has ridden uh, one of my carriage tours. And, uh, you know, this is just a good opportunity for them to come down and do that. You know, last year we didn't quite do 1,000 people. It was 960 or 70-something people. And, you know, we'll hook up on Sunday morning, and we're going to go until we can't go anymore. Anymore. And it goes on to say, to say this, actually. This is, you said this quote, this is our favorite day of the year because we get to thank everyone for supporting us for the last 47 years. From 1972 to now, what is the biggest difference about the Palmetto Carriage Works Company? No, I've gotten older. <laughs> That's probably the biggest one. Uh, you know, we, uh, my first, you know, first I'll tell you, this is the only job I've ever had. Wow. The only way I made a living. And we, my dad started doing this on my fifth birthday. Wow. And I turned 47 last year. Wow. And so my family has 42 years in the business. And uh, one of the things that I inherited from my dad and sort of the whole culture of the company is a passion and a love for the city and a passion and a love to show people the city from a carriage. And I get to do it for free on Sundays. And yeah, everybody's glad to see me uh, on free day. And uh, we're just really excited about it. I look forward to it every single year. You know, we call it the ninth annual. I think we've done it more than that. That's just as far back as we can remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And then we turn over to some developing news. Uh, as you know, most of the carriage companies around right here are helping, you know, kind of satisfy a lot of the furlough employees doing this mm -hmm. partial government shutdown. Talk to me about how that came about. Yeah, so uh, you know, we got together with a couple other carriage companies in our group, Cares, which yeah. is made up of Palmetto Carriage, Charleston Carriage Works, and Old South. Right. And we decided to go ahead and give free rides to furloughed uh, employees, um, you know, who are having a tough time right now. And any little bit of good we can offer until this shakes out, we're glad to do that. And obviously, as you know, the city of Charleston has appealed its uh, tourism uh, tour guides situation. Mm -hmm. Where are you in the middle of this? You know, my, my opinion is that uh, the judge spoke, and I think we just need to go with that and move forward. I'm really excited about the Palmetto Guild. And uh, with the, for those that don't know, the Palmetto Guild, what that is, is uh, people that have met the minimum requirements that the city had in place, which was the tour guide test. Once you get that certification, you pass that city test, you are part of your city certified tour guide, and you become part of the Palmetto Guild. And I'm happy to say that I thought my carriage is a member of that guild, and I'm only going to hire uh, carriage drivers that are members of that guild. While I believe in your right to speak free speech, my personal opinion is that I'm only going to have certified tour guides working for me. To be continued. Yes. Tommy Doya Jr., thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. Well, anytime, man. Thanks so much. Hey, appreciate it. Anytime.